Hi, you folks. This is the factor theorem. So if f of k is equal to zero, then x minus k is a factor. So if we were to take something like x minus two, if that was a factor of an equation, well then x equals positive two, that would be the root of the equation, or two you, is a number that you could sub into it, where you would get zero. So, or if we were to take something like x plus three, if that's a factor, well then x equals minus three, that would be a solution or a root of the equation. So those are roots and these are factors. All right, so just remember the difference. So factor, you can divide it into the equation, dx minus two, root, you can sub it in and it should be equal to zero. Um, also, so if ax minus k is a factor, well then k over a, that would be a, um, a root or a solution. So that's what comes into the first one here. So if two x minus three, so that's a factor. So then two x minus three, if you were to let that be equal to zero, you could bring over the three, so two x equals three, and x equals three over two. So the three over two, that's a, that's a root then, that's a um, something that you can sub in and it should be equal to zero. So that's all you have to do here, you just have to show that it's a factor. So uh, all we have to do is just put in three over two, So and that should be equal to zero. If it's equal to zero, then it is a factor, or it's a, sorry, it's a root. Okay, and then if you um, put all that into the calculator together there, which just work, work it out, it gives you zero. Now another way you could show it is if you were to divide it in, so do two x minus three and just divide it into all of that. So either way it would work, just divide it, divide it in fully. And you won't get a remainder at the end. Okay, so if, uh, x minus 2 and x plus 1 are both factors of that, find the values a and b. So um, I'm going to find, well we know that x is equal to 2, that's a solution, and x is equal to minus 1, that's a solution. So those are both roots. So I'm going to sub both of those in, and if we sub them in, we know that because they're roots, uh, when we sub them in, it, the, the whole thing has to be equal to 0. So we get a times 2 cubed plus three times two squared plus nine times two plus b is equal to zero. So we get eight a plus uh, 12 minus 18 plus b is equal to zero. Let's just move things to the, across the equal sign. So eight a plus b is equal to so we get 18 minus 12, so we get six. So that's uh, equation there we, we can use. And then x if equal to minus one, if we sub that in, we get eight times minus one cubed plus three times minus one squared minus nine times minus one plus b is equal to zero. So we know it has to be equal to zero. Now, so we get minus a, um, plus three, plus nine, is, uh, plus b is equal to zero. So we get minus a plus b is equal to uh, minus six. So we've got two equations there, then we can just use simultaneous to work out a and b are. So eight a plus b is equal to six and minus a plus b is equal to minus six. So subtract one from the other. So we get nine a is equal to zero. So a is equal to zero. And then we have minus zero plus b is equal to minus six. So b is equal to minus six. So we get b is minus six and we get a is zero there. That's just subbing them in. So it's just using the fact that we have the factors um, to work out what a and b is. So knowing that when you sub them in, it should be equal to zero. Right, so here's here's a cubic then. So 
a lot most of the time it won't even come up like that um now it could say factorize or it could say solve let's change it a little bit here so solve to be equal to zero so if we were to solve that being equal to zero well then there's no really way of factorizing a, a cubic straight away so what you have to do when you're trying to solve a cubic is all you can do is just use trial and error and just try and sub some values in so to see if, if they'll be equal here so if, if we just do f of one first um, well, well we'll try f of zero first actually so if we do f of zero then you have two times zero cubed plus zero squared minus 13 times zero plus six is equal to zero so you get six is equal to zero but that doesn't work then obviously so zero won't work so all you have to do is just keep trying values and generally it won't go past um neg positive negative three so if you try zero then one minus one two minus two so that's what i'm doing here so two times one cubed plus one squared minus 13 times one plus six is equal to zero so if we see does that equal zero then and so we get minus four there is equal to zero so again that doesn't work so let's try f of minus one so you might think it'll never work out but it, it's always generally one of the first few they'll, they'll never give you one that you're going to have to go do an awful lot of um, trials for so when we put all that in the calculator we get 18 is equal to zero so again it doesn't work so the next thing to try down is 2 positive 2 we sub that in it does actually equal zero so we found our, our factor so that one works then so f of two works so if f of two is the solution so two being the root well then x minus two is the factor all right and so f that means f of two is equal to zero which we've shown already so if x minus two is a factor then think about it um, if I divide x minus 2 into the equation up here I should get no remainder I should get a 0 so that's what we're going to do then that we're going to divide it in so 2x cubed plus x squared minus 13x plus 6 so if I was to divide, if I divide, divide that in then, um, you divide the x into the 2x squared first, right, 2x cubed first. So x into 2x cubed goes 2x squared times. And then you multiply 2x squared by x, so 2x cubed. And you do 2x squared times by minus 2 then. So that's minus 4x squared. Uh, I subtract then. So by subtracting, I'm going to change the signs. So we get uh, 5x squared there, minus 13x. Now x into 5x squared goes 5x times. So 5x multiplied by x gives me 5x squared. 5x multiplied by minus 2 gives me minus x. Subtract again, so we change the signs. So uh, the first ones would always cancel out, so uh, we get minus 3x. And then the last thing I'm bringing down is the plus 6 that's up there, so I haven't brought that down yet. Then x into minus 3x goes minus 3 times, so minus 3 times x is minus 3x. Minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6. So you'll notice you get the same thing there, so when you subtract one from the other, the will cancel out. So we get 0 down here. So this quadratic up here then that's the solution really for when we divide it in so that will give us the other two factors then so 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 
So therefore x minus 2 multiplied by that is, so that is, that factor is really, and if you, if you, you, can, you can go further now, and you, if you just factorize the 2x squared plus 5x minus 3, uh, do it however way you want to do it. So so that's it fully factorized. And then obviously our solutions would be um, well we'd get minus two from there, we'd get minus three from the last one, and in the middle we'd get one over two. So if we bring it across to minus one, um cross the equal sign and then divide by two. So those are our three roots then, or our three solutions, okay? And those, that there is the factors, that's the factorized. So depending on what you're being asked. So here's the cubic. If you want to try this one yourself, you can pause the video and play it on and go through the, ans or go through the answers. So what you have to do here is you have to start using the trial and error again. So try a zero first and see if it, it equals zero at the end. Try a one, try a minus one, a two, a minus two, and so on. Right, so uh, so you can see straight away that zero isn't going to work here because everything with an x in it will become a zero and with twenty four left over, so we get twenty four, which is equal to zero. So that doesn't work. We tried one this time one actually does work we do get zero there when you put it into the calculator or if you try to simplify it all so we get zero so one then is the root so therefore x minus one change the sign is a factor now if x minus one is a factor well then we can divide it into the uh, cubic so So if we divide x in, so 2x squared So if we multiply then 2x cubed and minus 2x squared You can always change the signs here Minus that into a plus So we cancel out, so we get minus 2x squared Bring down to minus 22x uh, dividing the x we get minus 2x so we get minus 2x squared um, plus 2x change the signs plus and minus so we have minus 24x plus 24 so again divide the x into the minus 24x we get minus 24 so we have minus 24x times, um, is minus 24 times x, and minus 24 times minus 1 is plus 24. So we'll just change the signs, plus and minus, and then they both cancel out. So that's our um, quadratic then, 2x squared minus 2x minus 24. x minus 1 was our factor. So we know x equals 1 is one root of it. And if we factorize the, the quadratic then, So 
like so. Um, our solutions then are 1, positive 1, positive 4, because x minus 4 is a factor, so 4 is a solution. And then if we have 2x plus 6 is equal to 0, if you bring 6 across, so 2x equal to minus 6, so x is equal to minus 6 over 2, which is minus 3. So minus 3 is our solution in the middle. So those are three solutions then, and those in there are three factors.